right, Michelle from Good Day State Line joining us again this morning to look at uh, well, this weekend's premiere of Saturday Night, Live, Saturday Night Live. A lot of people watching this and a lot of people looking forward to uh, what would come out of this. Yeah, you know, of course, um, so much TV was canceled yeah. over the summer. Saturday Night Live did do some at-home episodes <laughs> some in March. Zoom ones. Yes, yeah. which they I appreciated. Good, but yeah. Not the same. But it's been a while and I think that they made a point to make sure that everyone was tested in quarantine yep. so that they could come back not only to provide commentary on the <laughs> debate, but to comedy. Was, uh, there was a life. couple things to talk about. I know they're like, well, it's election <laughs> season, so we can't skip this. Yeah, so. yeah, we gotta, we gotta hit it head on. Yeah, so Jim Carrey um, was the big part of the show. He is now going to be playing Joe Biden for the foreseeable future on Saturday Night Live. How did you think he did? I thought he did well. I thought he was really on point with his impression. The voice was good. The jaw movements were good. Yeah. I just, we were talking about this earlier, Jason Sudeikis used to play him and I felt like Jason Sudeikis looked a little more like him. I think once I realized who it was, it was hard for me to... Not see him. And, and Joey said this too, right there, you can see him. What, what does he look like? What character does that remind you he of? He looks like uh, the mask. Yes, right? that's what it was and so I think it was hard for me to turn that off but I do think you're right his mannerisms was pretty yeah. on point he did a great job and of course Alec Baldwin returned um, as President Trump Kamala Harris is played by Maya Rudolph she did <laughs> so an amazing good. job one of the quotes people were talking about on Twitter she said America needs a WAP a woman as president. <laughs> so funny. <laughs> the nice play on uh, other trending topics. Chris Rock was the host of the show. Megan Thee Stallion was the musical guest. There was a very funny digital short, so if you have some time today, you should Google this. It's called Bottom of Her Face. Okay. And Megan Thee Stallion was in it along with uh, Chris Redd and Kenan Thompson and um, Pete Davidson. It was basically about dating, wearing masks, <laughs> and how he, they just wanted to see the bottom of her face. Okay, gotcha. <laughs> because they were speculating on, you know, and this is funny too, there's a couple of people that I've met yeah. um, when I went over to the Friends Experience, you know, the girl who was helping us out was wearing a mask and then she followed me on Instagram and I was like, oh, that's what she looks like. like that's <laughs> what, I know, it's so weird now. I mean, you, we always joke about too, you know, people don't only need to do their makeup from yes, like eyes up or nice. anything like that. <laughs> but um, I don't know, I love SNL when they're able to come up because whether you're, you know, whatever side you're on on this campaign, it's always fun to just have a little bit of lighthearted joke, I mean, joke about, but, you know, some funny topics. And it was there, very, so. uh, I felt like it was pretty even. I mean, there was a lot of uh, yeah. joking on both <laughs> ends, um, but I'm telling you, Google that bottom of her face. It was so funny. And then the last thing I did want to mention, so okay. this was really sweet, of course, uh, Kate McKinnon has been playing Ruth Bader Ginsburg since, t I think, 2012. Yeah. So for quite it's been some a long time. time yeah. So um, I had seen, because I actually watched Saturday Night Live yesterday because I was sleeping on Saturday. Um, but I, I saw that there was some sort of tribute. So where it falls, if you want to look for this too, is actually at the end of Weekend Update okay. uh, with AD Bryant. If you look at that clip on YouTube, it's just a very sweet, like, 10-second tribute with Kate McKinnon dressed as Ruth Bader Ginsburg. I love crowd. that. So I love that kind sweet. of uh, sealing the deal there. Yeah. Awesome. Well, today we're celebrating teachers. Uh, we want to know who your favorite teacher was. Let us know why. A lot of you know people have that one teacher that they always mm -hmm. remember. I know I have a couple um, in my life as well. So we'll talk about that in a little bit, but we want to see some of your answers.